Welcome back to another video for the Linux series. Uh, for this particular video, I'll be going over access control utilities. And I'm actually going to get started out with, uh, in this case, uh, well, this video, controlling access to directory and files with like standard permissions, uh, at least for the first exercise that I'm doing. So what I'm going to start off with is pretty much just uh, viewing and like modifying like standard permissions and control ownership. And I'm also going to be working with particular commands like chmod, chown, and chgrp commands uh, for the most part. So first, what I'll have to do is actually create files and view uh, view some permissions, actually. So let's open up terminal here. Let's see. That's a document. All right, so now that we're in the directory uh, for documents, so I'm just going to type a few things. Uh, let's see. Okay. All right, perfect. So now I'm just going to take a look at the list just to make sure. Yeah, and we see all three text files uh, for one, two, three listed right in our documents folder. So now I'm just going to navigate over to DTC directory here, right? And it should contain all the Linux system configuration files. So I'm just going to concatenate the password, right? So it's just pretty much displaying the contents, right? Of the pretty much of forward slash etc slash password file. And I'm also able to view the permissions of the files as well, as you can see here. So now I'm just going to concatenate, let's see, shadow. Now it looks like the permission was denied, but this is, looks like more than likely it was only because the, only the root users and users that belong to the shadow group have access to these. Uh, to the etc shadow files so let's take a look hmm. okay looks like i'll see the permissions all right march 21st 2022 all right well, i see the last modified date um the group, the size, the permissions. Actually, let me just clear this out then, All right? So what I'm gonna do now is just modify these five permissions. So I'm gonna modify these permissions as well as control ownership. So I'm gonna use chmod and the other commands I mentioned on these files and directories. So first, I'm just gonna switch directories really quick here. So let's go to okay. Perfect. I'm going to do image mod four hundred. Okay, perfect. All right. So what I did was I used the ch mod command or change mode command is to modify the permissions of the file. And now when it's used with the four hundred parameter, it'll give the file the read only permission. And four hundred is it is its uh, octo representation. So let's take a look here, All right? And I see that the text one file has only the read uh, permission. So let's take a look at that. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at that just again. Yeah, text one. All right, perfect. So now they got the commands that I, I prefer to see. So let's uh, make sure we change a few other things also. Let's do U, W, X, and W, X. All right, perfect. So now let's take a look. 
Okay. All right, perfect. So what I did was I uh, used the command I used uh, with the uh, parameters that I used to U, R, W, X, G, R, W, O, X, and then they true. So what it did was it removed all permissions from the owner of the file, and then it gave it back the read permissions to all the other users. So now I'm just going to change it again. Okay. That's fine because the value is still wrong. There it is. All right, perfect. Let's check again. All right, perfect. So I just use it with the GW parameter or G minus W parameter because it also removed all permissions from the owner of the file. So now I'm just going to change the directory. All right. And then I'm going to do this command here. All right, perfect. So now you can see the output of the command that's displayed here, which it displays the default permissions as defined by the Linux system. So if you notice, um, it should be somewhere. There it is. You notice, right, the line for unmasked uh, 022. 0.22, that octo is the inverse of the numeric code for permissions. So for example, let's say a U-mask of 0.22 is actually 7, 755. So I'm just going to exit out of here. Uh, we've seen this. Perfect. And then to the ID here. Let me see a few things. So it's pretty much listing all the profile permissions. So now I'm just going to do another. Uh, I'm just going to add here with the command. <clears throat> All right, perfect. So now I just created a new user named J Doe, which you can assume is John Doe. So, and then I'm going to head back over to the documents here for that directory. And so now that I'm in the documents, I'm going to change ownership here. J Doe, text file two. All right, text. Um, we got that done. Take a look at the list again just to confirm. All right, and we see J Doe there. Perfect. So, pretty much as I mentioned, I just used the CHO command to change the ownership of the file. So now J Doe is the owner of the text file number two uh, text file. All right, so now I'm just going to do some other. I'm going to add a group this time instead of just a user. But I've done in another video, I believe. Um, actually, <laughs> so I wanted to spell it. I mean, it, we can have two technically. Okay, perfect. All right, so now that I have that added, right, created that new group. So now I'm going to add, I'm going to make it change group. Let's see, change group. Or to me, the, the right one. Text file two. Perfect. Now we're going to double check. Let's see. Yep, there it is. Marketing. <laughs> awesome. So now uh, it changed the group of the text file number two uh, uh, to marketing in particular. So now what I'm going to do is change ownership for marketing the text file three. So change ownership. Okay, now let's confirm. All right, so now we see that uh, again, we I use the uh, change ownership command to change the group of the text file three to marketing. We can also see uh, here as marketing as well, right? And so now I'm gonna do one more change of ownership. Let's do chaining on. Getting.
Perfect. Now let's double check. Where is it here? All right, perfect. So pretty much it just reset the ownership and the root of the files to the default settings, right? So as you can see here, JDO and marketing are no longer assigned permissions. Let's change directories. All right. And then we're going to clear it out. All right. Because I love a nice clean screen. And now I'm able to move forward with controlling access to directory and files with advanced permissions now. Now, access control list, which I went over in the previous video, they're pretty much using Linux to give permissions to like a user or a group to access a file or a directory without changing the permission set of the file or the directory. So different permission sets can be applied according to the type of access the user or group requires. Now, what I'm going to do is create users and groups, and then I'm going to configure the permissions for the users and groups uh, with uh, uh, get FACL and then set FACL and then configure the sticky bit. So first, I'm going to start off with configuring the permissions using the setup APL and create uh, inheritable permissions. So let's start off with sudo. Let's see, tune this. And then we A2. All right, it's part of the next before the password. Um, but nonetheless, so what I what I did was as far as my command. I use it to verify if the file access control list can be used. And we'll see also that the default mount, uh, where it's here, the default mount options, or it should at least show us, if I scroll up here, yep, here it is, the default mount options, right? It's mounted with the ACL option here, All right? So let's go ahead and continue with the, uh, command for the terminal. Let's head over to our documents directory. And now I'm gonna do a user add. So user add, Leroy Brown. All right, perfect. So he's added. <clears throat> All right, so then let's do a set here. Access control list, got here. Right. All right, perfect. And of course, we're going to double check here. All right, you can see. All right, so to set FACL command, which typically used to set, like modify or remove ACLs for files and directories. And also the uh, the minus M parameter that I use is also modified the current ACL of the file, uh, as we will probably notice with the uh, with the plus character that we have here, right? It indicates that there is an ACL applied to the file, and the user Leroy Brown is given a read and write permissions as well. So I'm going to head back and continue typing more commands in the terminal. Uh, this time I'm going to do a get F ACL at or access controllers. So let's do this one here. Perfect. So we can see the owner group file, the user, uh, the mask, uh, pretty much a little bit of everything, right? So again, um, and it's pretty much these are known as the base AC ACL in entries. I was going to say <laughs> injuries. <laughs> no, but the base ACL access control list entries, right? And we'll see, uh, as you can see here, the user. Leroy Brown is the ACL associated with this particular file. Let's go ahead and continue. So with this control list, and then we have user Leroy Brown. Okay, next file. Perfect, so then we do another get access control list get file again. all right perfect so when i use the set f acl command when when i used it with the x parameter it's going to remove or it did remove the acl entry for leeward brown from the current file and we'll also see the output for the get uh, uh acl uh command which is the acl entry for leeward brown is removed so 
I'm going to continue here with another set. I'm going to use M again. Okay, that's not. No. Close to shit all. There it is. All right, everything else looks pretty good. I'm another one. Perfect. All right, so now we see that the set of ACL command, it configure permissions from the current ACL of the file for the marketing group this time, instead of Leroy Brown. And we can notice also the entry for the marketing group as well. Let's change directories really quick. Uh, let's see, I mean, let's actually make a new one. So now let's go to make reports directory, All right? <clears throat> and now we're gonna do another set, uh, let's see. Access control and just <clears throat> put this in reports or put Leroy in for Travis. Let's do another. Mm -hmm. Okay. Better reports also. Okay, perfect. All right, so now I, I what I've done is I've set permission inheritance, as I mentioned for prior, with the set F ACL command for the user Leroy Brown. And permission inheritance is when the permissions at the folder level get passed on to objects within the file. So now I'm gonna do another command here for set. Right. RW report. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So now it is all now set permission inheritance for the marketing group. Uh if I spelled it correctly. Yeah. All right. So then I can do another get. Okay, perfect. So now, if you notice from the output, right, from both the user Leroy Brown, Leroy Brown and the group marketing have been set permission inherited. So now what I'm going to be able to do is set sticky bit to control access. Now, a sticky bit permission is set on directories to make sure that only the root users can change or modify the contents of the directory. So what I'm going to do is create a directory and then modify permissions to limit users from manipulating files that they don't own. So. Let's make another directory. <clears throat> let's make a data um, directory, right? So let's change mod and then let's do O T, right? Should not, there it is. All right, perfect. So the change mod command, when I used it with the T flag to set a sticky bit permission for other users or the O, Users, so now I'm gonna confirm here. Perfect, perfect. So now you notice the T at the end. Uh, let's see here. If you notice the T at the end for T, I'm sorry, for data, right? Uh, it represents a sticky bit permission. And sticky bit permissions, again, are ideal when using shared storage in particular, right? And this also brings us in particular to the end of the video, unfortunately, where we went over access control utilities. That's for a brief recap. We went over controlling access to directory and files with standard permissions. Then we also did the same, exact same with advanced permissions, creating files and viewing those permissions of those files and modifying those permissions of those files and configuring permissions to set, uh, set FACL and create an inheritable permissions and also set sticky bit to control access as well. Uh, again, this is just a just another tidbit from uh, the current Linux series. In the meantime, until the next one, stay curious, stay secure.